you guys, David has asked me to do a Seven Horcruxes video. A Horcrux is in the Harry Potter books. Um, basically if I ever went to the dark side it was it would be the items that were most likely to describe me or the way I would think would describe me and would, I, which I would split my soul into. So I will just get straight to it. My first one is this necklace. It's Alice in Wonderland which is one of my favourite books. I love Alice in Wonderland and this is the Mad Hatter's hat and the Mad Hatter's teacup which I just love. The Mad Hatter's my favourite character. He's just crazy. I love crazy characters and for me I wear it all the time so it's always with me. So I thought it would be a good first horcrux. My second horcrux would be a pair of Converse shoes. Um, these ones in particular are my favourite. Um, they're sparkly, they're very sparkly. They're pretty cool. I love Converse, I've got countless pairs, so I thought nobody really was going to pick a pair of shoes, but since I love Converse so much, why not? My third item is, in a way it's two things in the one. It's one of my favourite films, A Nightmare Before Christmas. It's by Tim Burton. I absolutely love Tim Burton, he's one of my favourite directors. He's crazy, he's eccentric, I just love him. And the other reason this one is, my favourite time of year is Halloween. I know it says Christmas, but it's, it's also mainly about Halloween. I love Halloween, why wouldn't you? You get to dress up. It's just cool, I mean, I would prefer to dress up every day of the year and have a day for normal clothes. I think people wouldn't really always like that, personally. I would love that. So, this would be a horcrux for me. My fourth horcrux, I thought I have to have Harry Potter in here somewhere. Now, my favourite Harry Potter book would have been The Half-Blood Prince, but most people would know that, so it was too easy to make a horcrux. So instead, I have made this, I have chosen this awesome present that David got me for my graduation last year. It is a set of collector's Harry Potter brooms. We have the Nimbus 2000, the Nimbus 2001 and the Fireball. So those are completely cool. So I thought that that would be a great horcrux. It's Harry Potter related but yet it's not just simple and in the book. And they're cool. They're, they're actually bookmarks but I don't use them as bookmarks. They're too pretty to use. They should be kept. So I thought that would be pretty cool. My fifth horcrux is a bit geeky. Um, and it represents three points in the one. It is this figurine of Jack Sparrow. It's pretty cool. He represents Johnny Depp, who I love. Who wouldn't? He's a hottie. It represents Disney, which is awesome. If you don't like Disney, go off my channel. Disney is not just for kids. And also, he's a pirate. Who doesn't love pirates? Yo ho, yo ho. And it's a cool. Very, very cool. So, he would definitely be my horcrux. He's cool. And he's hot. Even though he's a figurine. He's still hot. Come on. You know you think he is. You know what you do. My six horcrux. I'm not really sure what he's called. I have never named him. Maybe I should. Is this to me, dude? He was given to me when I was younger by one of my aunties. And she always said he would bring me luck. I don't know if he has brought me luck, but he's pretty cool, and she always said he represented my supernatural side, which I would agree. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, and I thought it'd be quite a cool place to store the horcrux. I mean, he's always there in my room, so why not? So that would be no special reason at all, other than the fact that I think he's pretty cool. Yeah. So for my seven horcrux, I decided to make it a place. Um, it's the place I've always wanted to visit in my life. So there's a wee girl and I've never had the chance to do it. But that's going to end in January next year I'm going. And it is the Trevi Fountain in Rome. So my horcrux would probably be just a coin that I would throw in. Difficult to find and it would be representing somewhere that I would love. So although I've not been, I just know I love it because I've wanted to see it my entire life. 
there, that's my seven hot drops is for you. 